Today we are going to kill some plants. I have these two monster oreas that are too ugly to sell. All of the nodes here have both variegation on them and then the green on them as well. This is the variegated adzoniae. I have the orea form of this as well, but I believe this is just the albo. I feel bad cutting this one up because this one is quite beautiful, but it has a lot of really good nodal sections that we can use as our explants. And then my last one that I want to tissue culture is the variegated Monstera Peru. We have our tributes. Before we get into the actual tissue culture process and I share the protocol with you guys, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members. Whether you want to learn the basics of water color painting, or learn how to start your own creative business, Skillshare has- get out of my way. Skillshare has classes to take you from a beginner to a pro in no time alongside a very supportive community. I'm currently taking a course on how to use DaVinci Resolve. You may have noticed that my editing is getting a little bit better and I was even using a green screen in my last video. They also have a variety of plant-based courses such as Kokodama for beginners or hydroponics if you're like me and you have a huge pile of PVC pipe stacked up in your yard that you have no idea what to do with. The first 500 people to use my link will get access to one of Skillshare's best offers, 30 days free and 40% off your first year of Skillshare membership. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the tissue culture. So as I mentioned before we're going to be using nodes for our sections and I'm using a clean pair of scissors that I spray with 70% ethanol alcohol and I'm gonna respray my scissors between each cut. I'll start at the bottom. So here's our boy, the node. To make it easier, I just pull the uh, the leaves off. And these are really small monsteras, so I'm using the entire node. But if you're working with a much larger monstera, it is possible to put those into tissue culture. You just need to dissect the axillary bud off of the node and you can put that directly into tissue culture without hacking up the plant like we're doing here. So from that Monstera, we got four nodes. And if you have aerial roots attached to the nodes, you just wanna cut those off before they go into tissue culture. I'll leave the rest of this plant alive because it is a really pretty plant and I may wanna harvest it again later. So now that I have my nodes, I'm going to put them in 10% bleach. This is the bleach I use in case you're curious. Huh? So I started the process by putting the explants or our nodal sections into 10% bleach and 90% distilled water with a drop of between 20 to act as a surfactant. You can also use a drop of dish soap as well instead of between 20 and it'll work exactly the same. I have it on the magnetic stirrer so those can get nice and clean while I set up everything underneath the laminar flow hood. And at this point, everything under the flow hood pretty much has been autoclaved, including all the tools we're using, those jars that you see on the bottom of the screen, that water in that one container has also been autoclaved, so everything is as clean as we can possibly get it. And I'm just rinsing the nodal sections in water to make sure that that bleach isn't left behind, or at least not a significant amount of it. The media that we're using today is one milligram per liter of BAP and 0.5 milligrams per liter of IBA. I used to use NAA for my aeroid protocols until I took the plant cell technology tissue culture masterclass and Francisco told us that NAA actually causes a ton of callus growth. And when you're growing plants like monsteras and philodendrons, you don't really want a lot of callus, you actually want shoots to form. I also think you could probably bump up the BAP a little bit, probably up to like three milligrams per liter. But like I said, this just contains the one milligram per liter BAP. The media also contains 30 grams per liter of sucrose, mirashigi and scooge, and then also gelin gum as the solidifying agent. I prefer the gelin gum because it has this clear appearance that looks really cool for photos. The agar, I mean, it works exactly the same, but it just has this kind of more yellow cloudiness to it. Oh yeah, and I'm not wearing gloves for this. Call the tissue culture police if you want to. My hands are clean, I promise. 
If there are any plants that you guys want to see me try to tissue culture, definitely let me know in the comments. For a while, I wasn't really working with a lot of philodendrons and monsteras because I kind of had philodendron fatigue, but now I'm excited to get back into them. I don't show it on screen, but I also put saran wrap around the edges of each of the containers just to fully seal them so that I don't get any contamination once I take them out of the laminar flow hood. I think that went pretty well. I labeled all of them and wrote the date so that I'm aware of what is growing in what container. And I also wanted to show you guys the begonia progress because I made a vlog. I never like to call these vlogs, but I guess they are vlogs. I feel like calling something a vlog makes people not want to watch it or is that just me? Is this a vlog? Here are the begonias or one of the containers of them, if it focuses. There we go. I also have some that I've recently taken out of tissue culture. As you can see, these are pretty adorable. If you want to support my channel, I sell plants on Etsy. I actually have these really freaking awesome begonias right now listed called Begonia Rockii. Let me show you. So they look like this. You can see that they are very iridescent. They are terrarium plants, so you just have to keep it in a closed container. I just keep mine in like a big tub. The one on the right is actually a filled still air box. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want more tissue culture content, I also post pretty regularly on my Instagram. Bye.